Minecraft versus Roblox. What's going on guys here? My name is Xbox Man and today we're going to be going over Minecraft versus Roblox. Now before any of you start getting triggered and saying like, Oh my god Xbox Man, why are you comparing both of these? This is not the thing to do. I'm going to automatically dislike your video. It's not meant to say one game is better than the other, but what it's meant to do is it's supposed to compare it so you guys can kind of get a feel of what game you might want to play. Because both games are kind of popular right now. If you look at it, Minecraft and Roblox are very popular. Roblox is kind of on the uphill. It's starting to get very popular. A lot more channels are starting to do things on it. So maybe if you're a guy who's playing Minecraft a lot, you can go transition and play some Roblox a little bit. That's all this list is meant to do. Comment down below what game you're playing right now, whether it be Roblox or Minecraft, or even if you're playing a different game in general. I'd like to see your list so go ahead and do that and otherwise from that let's go ahead and get started like this video up let's go for 500 likes just because I like that number and here we go all right so basically how this is going to work is for every benefit or negative for Minecraft we mentioned we're going to we're going to mention a benefit or negative for Roblox this is just to give you kind of an unbiased feel for each game because personally they both are very good and it's really not something I should be comparing but I'm doing it just so that you guys can because there's this whole stigma that you can only play one game I want you guys to know that you can play both games so let's start off on the list and we're going to talk about the kids, the kids that play the Minecraft. I'm so happy. We're talking about the Herobrine, the Butter Kids, these kids that go around, you know, the general age and immaturity, the, the type of people that you don't want to be seeing on the game. Now, I mentioned kids, and we're just talking about the maturity level. Uh, you could be 10 years old and have a great maturity level, but uh, you could also be 10 years old and fall into that 12-year-old category. We're not going to try to box people in too much. Stereotypes. But we're going to be going around and talking about those kids. And those kids are the ones that really uh, define the community and talk about how people like, you know, everyone doesn't like this community because they're kids. It's generally the kids that are like Butter and Herobrine. Those are the Minecraft kids. Exposure Man, everyone knows about the Minecraft kids. You don't need to mention this. Talk about the Roblox kids. Alright, so now we have the Roblox kids, and this is one of the biggest deterrents for a lot of people because they talk about how Roblox kids are just generally very young, and that is very true. You tend to see a very young audience play Roblox, but as of recently, the the maturity of the audience has started to kind of gotten get more mature. I guess the people who've been playing Roblox for a while have kind of grown up with the game, and it's kind of shown a resurgence. So you're starting to get some some older people playing the game. Um, if you're like maybe a 15, 16, 17 year old, you're playing the game, you, you're going to start to see more people playing Roblox. As for Minecraft, the maturity of that audience, you're going to find everyone playing Minecraft. It's going to have anything from 42 year olds to 4, not 4, I guess you could say 4 year olds, but uh, you have like 5, 6, 7, whatever, whatever age group you prefer. Even these cranky old men. Hey kids, I like Minecraft. So for both games, you're going to find a little bit more diverse of an audience for Minecraft, but you're also going to find a good audience for Roblox that's coming up. It's on the come up. It's on the, the come up. <laughs> for our next one, we're going to talk about the amount of spam from each one. Spam! Minecraft, you're gonna find certain servers have spam. Like Mineplex, oh my god, don't even get me started on Mineplex. All you see is, anyone need a girlfriend, guys? I just need a girlfriend right now. Oh my god, I need a girlfriend right now. Please, someone give me a girlfriend. Oh, by the way, um, have you guys seen the new edition of the Butter the butter News? You know, the Daily Scoops? Oh my, uh, oh, oh my god. Even if I start on how much I love x -Buzzer Man, like, that whole squad is amazing. Oh my god, just, 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 just get me started. You get that all the time. Someone just, they, they just keep talking. It's in all caps, and you don't know what to do. You're just like <laughs> That's the only viable response I can think about it I mean these kids are just insane sometimes with how much they spam in Minecraft 
I mean, you, you just there's certain waters you go into that you just you use the uncharted the uncharted waters I like to call them mindplex oh what am I doing here and you just have to avoid at all costs I mean if you see it you run but otherwise if you find the right ones you'll be fine as for Roblox it depends just like this super competitive games oh my god oh, shoot all you get is hey Hey, 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 hey. I mean, they come from everywhere and they just absolutely mutilate you. If you say the wrong thing, if you say like, this game sucks, they're gonna be like, who even are you? That stigma is just, I mean, you gotta walk lightly in this cause they can, they can really get on you. They, they can totally just like absolutely wha-pam you. For our next one, we're gonna go with the hostility. Now, I have, ne like I said, I've said this many times before about the hostility in chat I see. Um, in certain Minecraft, I mean, these kids put together phrases that I don't think are even possible. I have lived my life 18 and a half years. Note that down because all you guys think I'm 42. You dirty old man, ex buzzer man. And I have not seen dirtier language but on Minecraft and Roblox. Like, I have seen some people like, wow, like, how did you even manage to come up with that? Who even taught you that? I mean, I don't know if you guys want to look it up, but like at the Alabama Hot Pocket or something like that, whatever that is, like do not look it up because I looked it up and I think I just want to rip my eyes out now. Night, I, I just need, I, I need some holy water. I'll just, I'll, let me just give me, give me, just need some, some holy water, some, something, some, some holy, just, there we go. Sam's purified holy water. I can't, I don't even want to think about it. I think I'm just going to go through an exorcism again if I, if I see that. Like, I see it, I'm just like, and then all of a sudden I'm just like. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't, I don't, I don't like that hostility. But generally, both have the hostility and then both have like the things that are really good about them. I mean, if you go on like a building server or Hypixel and something where camaraderie is good, you're going to find the right crowd. Not many people are going to be hostile in Minecraft. Or if you go into like a tycoon setting in Roblox, you're going to be totally fine. I mean, people are just going to be willing to help you out and it's going to be a good time for you and me. For the next one for Minecraft, it is, we're going to talk about the monetary. Like it's generally really easy. It's like $24, $25, a general down payment of $25, $25, simple. That's like half most games, at least half most games. And it's, that's all you do. Pretty much that is all you do. Unless you want to go into like servers and things like that and play for like VIP, um, you generally don't have to pay any more money. I tell you, I've paid probably $25. That's all I've paid. I paid $25 for the PC version. I paid $25 for the Xbox version. And that is literally all I've paid. I've gotten, I don't feel the need for VIP on a server or anything like that. But if you look on something like Roblox, you do not have to pay up front. Like you can play this game free to play for the rest of your life, from all I know. But there are certain like additions and perks and things like that that you almost kind of like want to have that are going to start paying, uh, causing you to pay. They have their own in-game currency called Robux. I mean, Minecraft doesn't have that. Generally, if you're willing to pay it, you can go ahead and do that. But if you're not, you can definitely play the game without it. It might be general. It might be harder sometimes. Um, most of the things aren't related to like in-game currency or anything like that. They aren't going to give you such an advantage to where it's just like if this is a pay-to-win game because it's really not. So it's 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 really good in that aspect. I mean, you can play this game free to play. But there most people, a lot of people tend to pay for actual Robux because they want those in-game benefits. It's really like what you're willing to do. Are you willing to, to, to bite the bullet and not pay or are you willing to pay a little bit? Maybe you might not end up paying even like close to what you pay for Minecraft. It's all pros and cons, man, pros and cons. I know people who are just like money bags and they're just, they're just like, I woke up in a new Bugatti. Rolling in the Robux. Now other people are just like, I will never pay for a single Robux ever in my life, Exposure Man. How could you dare say that I would? Me personally, I might pay for it. Depending on how involved I get into the game, I might pay for it. But 
more than likely I'm a free to play guy. Moving on to the next one, we're going to talk about the different options Minecraft has versus Roblox. Um, with Minecraft, modding is the specialty. Modding and adjusting the game, the saves, that's what makes the game so incredible. As for Roblox, I mean, you can do that, but you have to have a little bit more developing skills. If you look at Minecraft, you can create anything from a Superman mod, you can be Superman, or you can be anything from a farting mod. What did you say, Exposure Man? It all depends on what you want and how you're willing to get it. But it is limited to the fact that it's just like these big blocks. I mean, you're not going to see like guns and other kind of additions in the game. All you're going to see are a bunch of blocks. As for Roblox, there have so many mini games. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You don't, you don't really go into Roblox to create all the time. I mean, if you want to do like a tycoon or a, a some sort of building roleplay thing, you can do that. Uh, for Minecraft, it's a lot of building, a lot of other things. I'd say Roblox is a little bit better when it comes to minigame creativity, while Minecraft's overall creativity for you, the player, is probably a little bit better. So it's whatever you want. Are you a minigames guy or do you like to do absolutely everything like what you want to do? Utterly, insanely, completely, whatever you want to call it, veer off. Like this game is right here and this game is right here because the concepts are minigames and do your own thing. What you know about me? What you what you know about me? What you know about me? What you what you know? I don't know why I put that in there. And this is where people argue the most. They talk about like Minecraft has better mini games, Roblox has better creativity. I mean, it just gets a war where everyone's just like, Minecraft is better. Roblox is better. That's just how it works. But um, I just think comparing these games just based on their graphical like look, how they look, and kind of the gameplay structure. I mean, until you play the games fully and you play for them for a while, you'll start to see how they're doing. Now we're going to talk about the playability or the, the, the ability you have to play the game on a complete system. Um, for Minecraft, you're going to have, a, have to have a little bit stronger of a PC than most. Uh, you just can't get your laptop out and be able to play uh, Hunger Games on the highest settings. Uh, while Roblox, generally, it's a browser-based game half the time. And uh, you don't, you can, you have to download it with another application, uh, and you get your things on the browser. But overall, it's not as graphically intense. I can run it as intensive graphics as I want, and I'll be perfectly fine. While on Minecraft, if I want to do shaders maxed out, playing Hunger Games on a server with a thousand people, more than likely not going to be able to do it very, very good on a a decent computer. This computer was about seven hundred dollars that I purchased from four years ago. It can run Roblox 100% smoothly, no questions guaranteed, but on Minecraft, certain things do trouble it a little bit. Now generally, there's not going to be too many people who are going to go around playing Minecraft on these super high settings with these amazing mods that make the game look beautiful, but there are some people. So you're probably, if you're, if you're looking for a game that anyone can play, Roblox is your game to play, while Minecraft, there are other avenues like Pocket Edition and uh, Console that you can play just like Roblox. But generally, if you're going with a game that's easier to play, Roblox. If you're looking for a game that's just, uh, that's, that's for all you economical people though. Now overall, like point of entry in the game, Minecraft, it's really kind of a little bit harder because you gotta learn all the crafting recipes and things like that. But I'd say Minecraft, when it comes to point of entry, is way more addictive. If you're just learning how to play Minecraft and just starting to play Minecraft, it is such an addicting game. I've spent like three hours doing the most newbie things and I had a great time doing it. While Roblox, I mean, you're gonna be have, generally be having to play with other players, so you can get like smashed down. It can be a little bit easier to go into, but uh, the interface makes it to where there's so many different mini games that if you're generally not like an insider to these games and you kind of like don't know all about what each game mode is, you're gonna be a little bit overwhelmed. Just both games are gonna be overwhelmed. I'd say that you can handle it better on Minecraft. But while Roblox, it's a little bit easier to get into initially because, I mean, it's just a mini game. While Minecraft, you gotta learn a lot of things. So for the, the one of the, some of the last things, we're gonna talk about the, the kids, the, the videos you see. Minecraft is notorious. If you look at videos like this, I hate diamonds! I mean, you're just like, wow, why am I even in that community? Or you look at something like this and you're like, Exposure Man, why are you 18 years old and you are playing this game? Like seriously, just please get out. Please get out while you can. 
And yeah, you see some pretty cringeworthy videos in Minecraft. And then you look at Roblox and you see the same exact thing, like... Wanna be friends? Wanna no. be friends? <coughs> Wanna be friends? I don't even know how to respond to things like that. It's just in any community, you can't go ahead and say that this community has more cringe than the other. You could, you can, because some do. And I, I, I proudly, respectfully say that this community does. <laughs> but generally... But between like two games of the same category, like Roblox and Minecraft, you're gonna find just as much cringe. It's just there's mo more Minecraft players right now, so there's more opportunity for cringe. But I'm telling you, it's coming. The Roblox wave is coming. Lastly, we're gonna go with the stigma. The stigma about Minecraft is it's a bunch of children now playing, and for Roblox, it's a bunch of very young children playing. And really, that shouldn't ap appeal to your decision. Like, if you're playing a game you're really not doing with other people, I mean, you're by yourself in your computer, and you're just enjoying yourself. So why would you worry about what people think about you if they might not never, they might never know? You don't have to keep this game, like, public. You can't be like, oh, I'm a Minecraft player everyone hey over here look minecraft you're not going around in public doing that or you're not going yo everyone i'm a roblox player hey you lady pretty girl you know i'm a roblox player like whoa yeah that's me that's me exposure man roblox player and now we're gonna talk about <laughs> and now we're gonna talk about the last thing and the best features i think in both games have free realm for minecraft you can do anything you can literally create anything you want through the use of mods, saves, texture packs, anything you want you can create. It's not going to be a super refined version, but at least it's generally the concept. For Roblox, the tycoons. The tycoons in the minigames are absolutely incredible. They can make them refined and make them fun. The friend system is really good. All you actually literally have friends within the game that you can create and see who's online and things like that. So both games have some great great features about them I think they're veered off and I hope this kind of helps you see that there are a lot of different games and they shouldn't really be compared I made the video Minecraft versus Roblox to kind of dispel the theory that one game is no better than the other so that's pretty much it guys I want to thank you all for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got something out of it please don't be the guy that's just like oh my god how could you compare these two games that is absolutely awful x brother man because that wasn't the point of the video the point of the video was to kind of show you that you can play both games and you shouldn't feel like I'm betraying Minecraft because I'm playing Roblox like no that's not how it works you're playing Minecraft because you like it and you're playing Roblox because you like that game if you like them both play them both and hopefully I got you to play one or the other or playing both that's that's kind of the hopeful the hopeful of the video but otherwise from that thank you all for watching comment down below which one you like playing the most and if i did change your opinion a little bit and like this video up let's get to 500 likes that's pretty much it guys thanks once again for watching i really do appreciate it i'll see you next time later